bright duty every student matters hello dear students welcome to another lecture and in this lecture we are going to do another writing skill topic which is report writing now before we learn the way to write a report it is important to understand what actually is a report so a report is a factual description of an event or an incident okay factual description means something which is imaginary so you have to describe some event you have to describe some incident with the help of a report it is always written in the third person so we use third person pronouns such as he she it they and so on and so forth so we always use the third person uh, pronouns and it is always written in the past tense now the reason the purpose of writing a report should be very clear and should target a specific audience so again we should be very clear with how to write a report and the audience who are we targeting who are the ones we are writing this report for there are different types of reports such as the newspaper reports the magazine reports there are inquiry reports then there is a progress report like you get for your report card and so on and so forth and every report has their own character every report has their own feature now we are going to talk about only two types of reports one is a magazine report and the other one is a newspaper report so we shall only study about these two reports in detail now what are the points that are to be kept in mind when you have to write a report a report is never written in the first person like i told you we never use words like i and we so such words are never ever used when writing reports rather we use words such as he she it and they when writing a report it generally expresses an objective viewpoint of an event or an incident so if there's some event that you are writing about there's some incident that you are describing then there has to be an objective you know your objective has to be explained in detail a report should be very practical there should not be any personal information conveyed through the report and all the necessary information should be clearly stated it should be well structured with a title so the format of a report again has to be kept in mind there has to be a title report is to be written in small paragraphs and has to be factual it should be imaginative it should be descriptive in nature now it should have a proper conclusion or recommendation recommendation means you ought to conclude your report you ought to write uh, something at the end recommending uh, you know if there is something which you are writing about if you feel there are certain points that can be taken care of at the end then those points need to be clearly stated by you and the word limit should be 150 to 200 words so depending on the question it can even be 100 to 125 words or so on and so forth now what is the format of writing a report first we write the headline or the title if it is a newspaper report we write a headline if it is a magazine report it is a title so we write the headline or the title which should be very catchy and brief so it should be very catchy you should be able you know there should be a lot of interest element to that heading or the title that you write then comes the byline byline means 
the name or the rank or the position of the person who is writing that report. So, you first write the headline and then you write the name of the person, the names, designation, rank of the person who is writing the report. The first paragraph will be your opening paragraph wherein you will mention what has happened, where and how and the most prominent consequence along with the day, date and time when it took place. So, when, uh, what had happened, when had something happened, how did it take place, what was the consequence, what was the result of that happening along with the date, the day and the time when that incident took place. Second paragraph, you will always write the details. So, paragraph 2 and paragraph 3, you can use to write the detail of your report, of your incident. Eyewitnesses, if any, you have to write their accounts. In case of accidents, in case of any loss of life and property, that has to be listed. You know, number of people who lost their lives were 50, 10 people are there in the hospital, they are very serious and so on and so forth. Then cause of the accident, what according to you is the reason for the accident to take place? What action is the police taking? What is the rescue operation that is taking place? How is the damage being controlled? Any compensation or any help which is being provided to the people, to the affected people by the government, that has to be made a mention of. And at the end, the last paragraph will be a concluding paragraph, a remark as to how the event had an impact on people. So, you are going to conclude by stating how this incident affected the people. Now, like I told you, first paragraph will have the answer to the question what. So, the event, the occasion or the incident that took place, you will write that. When, the date, day and time and which at which it took place, you will mention that. Where, the place where the incident took place, you will mention that. Then, second and third paragraph, you will write about why and how. So, the reason behind that incident or event or the occasion and the details, how did everything take place. And the fourth paragraph will be your concluding paragraph which will include all the reactions and the promises that the authorities have made or the statement of the people, the chief minister has decided to do that, the government is helping the people by giving a compensation of 1 lakh each, so anything for that matter. Now, like I told you, there are two types of reports that we are going to study about, magazine as well as newspaper. The format of both the reports remain the same, but the manner of writing them is different. The language is different. So, we are going to look at the samples of both these reports one by one. First, let us talk about the magazine reports. Your school recently organized a blood donation camp. As the student reporter of KPS Jaipur, Write a report for your school magazine describing the same. So, your school has organized a blood donation camp and you are the student reporter of KPS Jaipur. You have to write a report for your school magazine describing this blood donation camp that took place. So, first is the headline, the title. What is the title? Blood donation camp organized. Then comes your byline. Who has organized it? By Itisha, comma, the student reporter. Now we start writing our report. The NCC cadets of KPS Jaipur organized. Who organized? The NCC cadets. What did they organize? 
a blood donation camp on the occasion of thalassemia day so why did they organize it because it was the thalassemia day that they were celebrating senior students teachers non teaching staff and people of the neighborhood participated in the camp with great enthusiasm so the camp was inaugurated by the commanding officer of avsm so the first paragraph as you can see was very short just in three lines i have included all the relevant details second paragraph is to be written in detail so the inauguration was done by the commanding officer he was accompanied by his wife whose name is mrs meera chauhan principal c v chandel welcomed the chief guest the chauhan couple was the first to donate blood ncc cadets vied with each other to donate bloods in all 200 units of healthy blood were collected in aseptic bags a specialist team of doctors and paramedics from rajasthan hospital did an impeccable job they collected blood will be used for the treatment of thalassemia patients in the state the donors were given fruit juice as refreshment they were also given commendation certificates for donating blood so the entire detail has been clearly mentioned the school infirmary the school medical room which was the camp site also was the venue for an aids awareness exhibition organized by the rajasthan aids prevention society activity in charge mrs sushma chandar presented a vote of thanks at the end to the organizers so the first paragraph was a very short one explaining about what uh was the incident what was the event when did it take place why did it take place and who organized it second paragraph included all the details the details of the chief guest refreshment given blood collected how is it going to be used and so on and so forth and the last concluding paragraph is again something which just very in a brief manner uh, concluded the whole by informing the students and everyone that the medical room the infirmary was also used as an aids awareness exhibition camp okay now let us look at another sample So History Society of KVS arranged a trip for the students to a place of history that interests them. You Anita Anand were its leader. Write a report in 150 to 200 words for the school newsletter on tour describing the place, its history, how you reached there and all that you have learned. So what is the second occasion? the history society of kvs the name of the school they organized a trip for the history students you were the leader of that tour and you have to write a report for the school newsletter means the school magazine giving a description of the place about its history about everything that you saw there so first is the heading so history society visits taj mahal byline by anita class 12th b so you are a student of class 12th b on february 5 2019 a group of 20 students of history society of kendriya vidyalaya travel to agra and spent two days there so in just the very first line the basic details have been given when was this trip organized how many students accompanied the name of the school where did they go and how many days did they spend there we flew to delhi on february 2 after a quick lunch near the airport we headed to nizamuddin state station to board our train scheduled at 4 pm to agra and the name of the train is also written mahakaushal express At the Agra Cantonment Center we flagged an auto rickshaw to take us to our home stay 
So the first paragraph has been ended by giving all the basic information about that trip. Second, we begin with the report that you took an auto rickshaw to take you to the place where you were supposed to stay. After a yummy hot meal, we hit the sack as we planned to visit Taj Mahal early morning. Hit the sack is a phrase which means that we decided to rest. Next day, we were there at the Taj by 7 a.m. The monument was glowing in the early morning sun and the marble looked beautiful. We walked around the central podium and also went to the two buildings on either side of the Taj. When we visited it at sunset again, it was teeming with people. This time we had a guide, Shanu. He gave us many insights into the monument, its history and construction. We saw the fire stone, a semi-precious stone used in the inlay work, which was apparently Mumtaz Mehal's favorite stone. It was a delight to see the delicate inlay and lattice work. So the description has been given. The symmetry of its structure and the brilliant colors of this unique monument. We returned with many happy memories. So you see, the first paragraph was a very short and precise one. And then the second paragraph gave details of the monument, its beauty, its artwork, its architecture and your experience of having visited there. Now let us move on to the newspaper report. So newspaper reports, like I told you, the format remains the same but the language, the tone varies. So let us look at the first sample. Traffic police have launched a special drive against pollution causing vehicles. This has led to traffic jams and crowds at important intersections. Write a report in 150 to 200 words to be published in Chennai Express. You are Prince or Priya living at 12 MG Road, Adayar, Chennai. So, the traffic police has launched a special drive against the pollution causing vehicles. Now, this has led to traffic jam. So, there's a lot of traffic jam, there's a lot of crowd at the important intersections. You have to write a report in 150 to 200 words that is to be published in the newspaper Chennai Express. Your name and your address is given. So the first thing is the headline. So drive against pollution causing vehicles. Byline by Priya. Since you are writing for Chennai and this is a newspaper report, we have to write Chennai Express correspondent. Correspondent or reporter. Okay. So, the newspaper's name is written. So, newspaper name and correspondent. When we write the newspaper report, the first thing that we write is the name of the place followed by the date on which the newspaper uh, report was published. So, traffic jams are a common sight in Chennai. But these days they are on the rise. All because of the special drive by traffic police against pollution causing vehicles. Significant intersections have been chosen and the concerned people can be seen in groups stationed at these points. Each and every vehicle is being stopped and their no pollution certificates are being checked. Rupees 1000 is being charged as a fine for the lapse. Lapse means if there is any error on their part. This drive is a positive step in achieving a pollution-free environment but has created a lot of inconvenience for the public and the daily commuters. As it has led to traffic jams, people are stranded on the roads for hours getting late for their place of work. So, what is the repercussion? What is the, you know, result of these traffic jams? That people are stranded. Stranded means people are stuck on the road for long hours and they are late for their work every day. 
though the new drive is highly appreciated by the people so people really like it they also feel that it is crucial it is important that because of the drive the people should not suffer the authorities must find an alternative to such a check that would cause less inconvenience to the general public so let us see another sample You are a reporter for a leading newspaper. Write a newspaper report regarding a massive fire in Frontier Mall in Ludhiana in 125 to 150 words. So here, since the newspaper's name is not written, so we wrote staff reporter. So first was the headline: Fire in Frontier Mall claims 42 lives by. the name of the person who's written this report and staff reporter again like i told you when writing a newspaper report the first thing that we write is the name of the place and the date so ludhiana may 15 2019 when navin chandra so 21 is the age boarded the frontier mail at ludhiana station today little did he know that he would be charged to death along with more than 40 in a bizarre fire accident on board the amritsar bound frontier mail near ladowal railway station 8 kilometers from here so this person boarded the train and he did not know that it was going to be his last train according to preliminary reports and i witnesses account so preliminary means the reports that reached first and the accounts of the i witnesses the fire started by bursting of a stove so the reason for the fire is the bursting of a stove in the s5 coach of the train and soon it spread to other coaches By the time emergency brakes brought the train to a screaming halt the raging inferno had claimed more than 40 lives all victims of burns suffocation trauma and trampling the local village railway men and fire tenders from ludhiana filor fagwara and jalender were busy bringing the fire under control Meanwhile the injured that number more than 250 have been admitted to DMC and CMC Ludhiana so these are the names of the hospitals where they've been admitted an inquiry counter with phone number so and so has been established we all know whenever there is some national emergency whenever there is some incident like this there is always an emergency number which is announced so you can call and can in, you know get information about any of your dear and near ones traveling on that vehicle mr c k hasija the divisional commissioner railway safety said an inquiry has been ordered to ascertain the cause of fire the next of kin of the dead will be given rupees 1 lakh each as compensation while the injured people will be given rupees 10000 so those who are dead their family members will be given a compensation of 1 lakh each and those who are injured will be given 10000 10 women and 5 children are among those dead more details were awaited when the report was filed so there are more details which are in the pipeline so as you can very clearly see dear students the format of writing both the types of reports is same you begin with a headline then byline and then in 3 to 4 paragraphs you explain the entire incident The only difference between a magazine and a newspaper report is the use of language. When writing a magazine report, if you are describing something which you yourself was a part of. So in that case you can use I and we. But in case of a newspaper report, the tone is highly highly formal and we do not use the first person at all. 
So, my dear students, with this we come to the end of this writing section topic. I hope it is very clear to you on how to write a report and the difference between a magazine and a newspaper report is clear as well. So, I will see you all now in my next lecture.